You get the idea. Hello, dear friend. Welcome to another introduction video of my new video course for download called most likely and still Mandapul, Didrudu and Steroids. In this video I want to talk about to whom this video course for download addresses. That's a good question. As I see it, because if you are interested anyway, it doesn't matter, be my guest. Um, yeah, I don't think a real complete beginner would benefit from this video course. It would be good if you are able to somehow play a drone sound on your didgeridoo. Doesn't matter what kind of drone sound, just that you know the sound is generated like like that. It would be good. It's not a necessity, but it would be good if you know how to put your voice into the ditch and link it with the drone sound somehow well i show you exercises how you can achieve that but it's uh, it's of course uh, more convenient if you already know how to do this. Circular breathing, some kind of circular breathing um, would help if you know how to do this. In terms of using your drone sound, your voice and the circular breathing, <laughs> I invite you then during the course to forget more or less all about them three aspects what you have learned so far because everything will be different. Your breathing your use of your voice because it will all change into passive voice to not interfere with your breathing at times and the drone sound is also like we will learn the traditional way aboriginal way the gentle people who bought already let's say my course, traditional didgeridoo or old school didgeridoo they will get a very different package of skill set buying this course, Mandapul because other than what I explain in depth in my two courses, traditional do and old school do. There I explain how to use negative pressure breathing, negative pressure techniques, sounds. This is true also for Mandapur playing, but there is a very interesting difference a shift of dominant body parts I don't want to give away for free things here but just a hint 
here is the undiscovered and underrated body part and what you can do or need to do in Manipur playing there is a story in itself. It comes from old school playing of course. It's heavily modified by the young Aborigines, the old school techniques. And you will learn in this course how to use this kind of negative pressure techniques, breathing and sounds in order to play faster, harder. One more thing. I will establish and introduce a new way of communication with you as my highly valued customer and student. All the years and especially in my video courses for download I was Mr. Nice Guy and there's nothing wrong about it. Oh, you don't know how to play the drone sound. Oh, no problem. Look, there's this exercise and then I give you this information and oh, it's still not working. Okay, then do this and this. Nice, friendly, comforting, understanding. As I said, nothing wrong about it. That's how it should be course. Nobody turns on a video or course to be treated harshly or in a bad manner. This I also not will do in the course Mandapul. But you see you want to play the hardest and fastest styles possible on a Yiraki mandapul with the edge real hard not meditative not nicely no holding back but full power full throttle all in And I don't think this can be achieved also to a percentage if I treat you too nicely. <laughs> so I will not be rude, but the whole structure of the course, as I am filming now for one week, is clearly spot on. Not one word too much. Just what you need to build your race car. Not only a race car, but a highly tuned dragster, which will most likely explode after the race, but he will win this race. We will talk about speeds when you play that you never achieved before. Maybe not even nearly. We will talk about highest precision. We will talk about a mindset. We will talk about cheekless playing. Maybe you will say, wait a moment, I saw young Aborigines playing on YouTube very fast and hard with cheeks. Yes, right. But you also see players playing with no cheeks. And also the ones who are using cheeks they are very young and they will get even better. <laughs> they have everything else, the whole package. So, yeah, 
it's achievable with cheeks, right? If you have everything else. <laughs> but we will go even beyond. We will play cheekless with forceful negative pressure. Generating more negative pressure you would have even thought of. I mean, the whole concept is not widely known. In fact, in the Aboriginal culture, it's, it has no name, no concept. I had a very interesting email traffic with a very nice guy, customer of my traditional digital do course. And he had, before that, an email traffic with somebody who is very deeply involved in the Aboriginal culture. And he asked my customer, this man, what he thinks about this negative pressure breathing thing that he learned from me and I learned it from my teacher, Sven Mulder. And the, the expert wrote, what you're talking about, there is no such thing. <laughs> and a little bit irritated, he wrote me, my customer, uh, how come the expert doesn't know anything about it? And no Aboriginal does know about negative pressure playing. I was not surprised. This is the brainchild, more or less, of my teacher Sven. And I took it further and decoded it. This is no official, official Aboriginal technique or concept. Nevertheless, it is what they do easily proven. It's my job as a teacher and a sponge for all of this to decode and find out in our Western understandable language and kind of analyzing things what's going on in, in the Aboriginal way of playing. There are many, many, yeah, in fact all, videos of Aboriginal, Aboriginals playing their things, rhythms, techniques. Every video is a proof of what I'm teaching. Though there is no name in the Aboriginal culture, but they are doing this. You can see it very clearly watch the glottis movements, listen to the sounds. If you have this negative pressure thing in your body, you hear instantly, ah, yes, wow, very, very strong use of negative pressure, very strong. But if you would ask them, do you use negative pressure and all your movements are this is this a system? And they would say, well, what, what system? It sounds right. This is what I have learned and that I will teach if I teach. And that's their way of learning. They listen. They play until they have the sounds right. And if you have them right, you are, of course, obviously using the negative pressure thing that my teacher and me at the end are teaching, giving it to the international trade players scene. Very interesting email exchange. So yeah, you don't get the mandapul thing into your body until you have understood fully this one body part thing linked to the other body parts, how this all works as a system and in Mandapul it is different as in old school playing. These are the roots old school and then it's heavily modified into 
the new thing. Speed. Hardest punchy sounds. A special sound. Okay, that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. So um, don't expect me to be always nice. I will give you only what you need. It will be different from my other courses. And that's the thing. Bye.